Hey everyone, it's Paul with the Tuesday Bold Profits, and today I want to tell you about an incredible opportunity that is unfolding in the stock market as we speak, and then also tell you about something that is incredible that we are doing that many of you hopefully are registered for, which is our Super Bowl Summit, which is directly related to this opportunity that is unfolding. So I, I rarely use charts in, in bull profits because I, I generally feel like charts sometimes kind of are like a little bit heavy duty. However, I wanna show this chart very, very quickly. All right, so just stick with me. And uh, in this chart, there's three lines. There's a black line, there's a blue line, there's a green line. And the black line is of the S&P 500. For those of you who are super sophisticated and know everything about the market, you know this is how people are judged. So if you're a, a big hedge fund manager, you're a big uh, money manager, everyone wants to beat the market. And the market is this S&P 500, which is made up of essentially the 500 biggest stocks that trade in the United States on either the NASDAQ market and the New York Stock Exchange, which are two different markets. So the S&P 500 is filled with stocks that you probably know and, and heard of. It includes uh, Apple, Google, uh, Facebook, Amazon, um, Tesla, hopefully sometime in the future. However, Tesla, for whatever reason, is still not yet in the S&P 500. And then the blue line is the S&P 500 equal weighted. So many people uh, often think of the market and they think, well, you know, what is this thing? And uh, the market's just a reference to the uh, the price movements of 500 of the largest companies that trade in the United States. And an equal weighted means that essentially they take the same amount of money and invest it into each company. And that gives you a slightly different result than if you put money into each company based on its stock market value. So stock market value is also referred to as market capitalization. And Apple, for example, has a $2 trillion market capitalization. Uh, other companies like Amazon also have very high market capitalizations. So if you're invested in the equal equivalent of the black line that is in, uh, in the chart, then you're, 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 you own more of the bigger companies. However, if you're invested in, uh, in a fund that owns um, all of these companies in equal amount. Now, if smaller companies that are among these 500 companies that SP5 go up, now you get a bigger benefit. And you will see on this chart that since March 24th or so, which is the bottom since the crash uh, that, that happened this year, guess what? The, uh, the smaller companies, even though you're hearing a lot about Apple going up and, and, and all these big companies going up, the smaller companies are actually leading. And the best way to measure that is uh, from an index called the uh, Russell 2000, which has got all of these small companies packed in together. And this index is actually beating the S&P 500 by nearly about 3% or so uh, until now. So 57% compared to 54%, 55% approximately for the equal weighted S&P 500 and about 54% for the S&P 500. So what is going on and wh why am I bringing this up? So I believe that there is actually a big transition that is happening, happening, not about to happen, happening right now with our economy, our country and our markets, which is that there are a lot of mature and near mature companies, including companies like Apple, in my judgment, um, that are really starting to really fade away. Now, some of these companies, it's very clear, are fading away. And if you've been tracking industries like retail, uh, you know companies like Sears and JCPenney and even Macy's have been struggling for a long period of time. And uh, there's been a lot of bankruptcies and a lot of problems in, in, in that side of the business. And then equally, if you're following companies like Tesla, you know that Companies like GM and Ford and, and even all of the automakers from Japan, Europe, you can take all of their total stock market value and it is a little bit under what Tesla is valued today. And that is a signal that there is this massive shift going on in the stock market between America 1.0 and America 2.0. And 
While there are a number of larger America 2.0 companies like the ones we feature in Profits Unlimited, some of the most innovative, incredible, phenomenal companies are much, much smaller than that. And uh, these companies, I believe, are going to go through a period of sustained, sustained, sustained outperformance where you are going to see the prices of these companies, the stock price of these companies just start to jump and jump and jump and keep jumping until they start to become bigger and bigger companies that eventually go into something like the S&P 500. The, the vast majority of these companies have no presence in the S&P 500. And so to get in on that, you actually have to go and buy these stocks individually. You could buy something like uh, an ETF, which is a basket of stocks. Um, but you know, if you're owning 3,000 stocks in index, you're, you're going to get some benefit. However, you're never going to get the incredible, huge, massive, incredible gains like the ones you might get by owning the stock. So I want to tell you, number one, that obviously you could buy something like the Russell 2000 ETF that is in this chart uh, that I put up. It has the ticker symbol IWM. Or you could get laser-focused, concentrated exposure to incredible, phenomenal America 2.0 companies, innovation-based companies, uh, the big, big mega trend companies exposed to really all the big mega trends of our time, Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, blockchain, new energy, precision medicine, emerging new industries of space, uh, exposure to phenomenal new technologies, incredible technologies that are completely and utterly and radically reshaping the world, whether it be crypto, fintech. I can just go on and on. Well, for those to get in, at the first inning, at the platform level, at the beginning level, you've got to be in these small stocks pretty early. And I can tell you from the results we are seeing that uh, in, in our services uh, in, 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 in this area, that I believe that these companies are setting up to take off and soar. We are holding the Super Bowl Summit and hopefully all of you are registered. So please make sure that you tune in. I just want to get these, these details correctly right. You have to go to www.superbull, superbullsummit.com. And that's all one word, www.superbullsummit.com. Just before 1 p.m., that's uh, today, Tuesday, the day that this uh, video is going out. So please, this is a phenomenal, incredible opportunity uh, to get in on potential gains where, you know, the service that the Super Bowl Summit addresses is one where we go for 1,000% gains for every single stock. We already have multiple 500% winners. We have a 600% winner. And I believe that a 1,000% winner is in the near future. So make sure to tune into Super Bowl Summit and continue to follow us on Bull Profits, where we'll continue to update you on this opportunity uh, that is driving the Super Bowl Summit. So uh, if you like the content in this channel, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below on, on if you're going to participate in the Super Bowl Summit. I'll have another video for you next week. Until then, this is Paul saying bye.